Hello guys and welcome to Milge Milge channel. Get comfy because this is another episode where we are building a real life inspired historical building. This beautiful and massive landmark is taken straight from the city center of my hometown Konas. If you ever have a chance to visit Lithuania, I definitely recommend you to check out the second largest city Konas and especially do the tour around all those mesmerizing art deco houses built during the interwar period. Today I'll take you for a tour to the legendary central post office. The interwar period in Lithuania refers to the time period between World War I and World War II when Lithuania gained independence from Russia and established itself as a sovereign state. Lithuania declared its independence on February 16, 1918 and was recognized by many countries including the Soviet Union, Germany and Poland. This date is crucial in Lithuanian's history and it's celebrated every year. It's a coincidence but still pretty cool that I'm releasing this video just a few days after the day. After the occupation of Vilnius, then capital of Lithuania and the eastern part of the country were taken by the Polish armed forces, Konas became a temporary capital and the most significant city in Lithuania. It became a center where most important state issues were considered and active cultural life was concentrated. At that time, modernist architecture flourished in the city. Public and office buildings, museums, educational institutions, hotels, industrial sites, residential buildings and other were built. In the Baltic interview with Loretta Lingiana, article states, Kaunas Art Deco Interwar Modern Architecture is unique to Kaunas because it's not a direct copy of French or German architecture, it's specific to Kaunas. It's what we call the national style, where Lithuanian architects try to incorporate traditional Lithuanian aspects into contemporary architectural trends. It's easy to romanticize the interwar period, but during that time the changes in Konas were so fast, she explained. Buildings were adapted to become embassies or ministries because the city needed more space for the new role. Some of the most historically valuable buildings were built within three months and even today's standards, that's quick. Life was progressing very fast and people were very enthusiastic about that. Culture was booming, cinema, theater, opera, then almost overnight everything Konas was aiming for was basically stopped. I chose to build the central Art Deco post office because it's such a unique building that stands out in the city center. It's located on Liberty Avenue, I even worked there for a while, I really wanted to create something very unique to Lithuanian architecture and I feel like I have direct connection with this magnificent building. The building itself was built between 1930 to 1932 and designed by architect Felixas Visboros, who combined modernism with the traditional national Lithuanian style of the interwar period, such as beautiful white and black ceramic floor that resembles traditional grandma's tablecloth, as well as decorations and ornaments all around the build. The building was considered as a benchmark of modern construction, a flat roof, unusual building shape and large windows. At that time not everyone liked it, but there is no doubt that the building was a model of modern design. The building stories were connected by a lift for passengers and correspondence, a modern and spacious operation hall, an electric clock hanging outside the building and finally working conditions were created that many state-owned enterprises could still envy today. 
showers for employees, spacious and bright office spaces, and the possibility to eat in the company's cafeteria. During the Soviet era, the symbolic significance of the building was primarily diminished. Attributes that testified to sovereignty were destroyed, commemorative flags were removed, postage stamps drawn into Operation Hall were destroyed, the original appearance of the interior was changed, and in 1980, the upper window of the Operation Hall were glazed with the stained glass. After the restoration of Lithuanian independence, the commemorative plaques were unveiled and attempts were made to restore the original appearance of the Operation Hall. In the 21st century, we are saying goodbye to the era of physical mail. Once embodying modern communication built in significant city locations designed by famous architects and designers, these buildings have become unnecessary for today's postal system. Large public buildings become a burden for their owners. As the demand for postal services decreased, most of the Kona Central Post Office premises were abandoned. Until finally, at the end of 2019, the post office completely abandoned the building and started considering its sale. Although it has lost its original purpose, the post office remains one of the main landmarks of Liberty Avenue and the city. Unfortunately, while I was working there, most of the floors were closed. Only some of the offices downstairs were open. Majority of employees were relocated to work in a basement and the showers no longer worked. Only half of the central hall was open. This building felt abandoned. Due to this, I was not able to walk around and see how everything looked. Most of the building I made completely from my imagination. Let's just say that I focused on recreating only the places and offices that I saw with my own eyes, such as basement where logistic and postal workers worked and the main hall with customer service. From what I have heard, this entire space upstairs used to be offices and there was even huge conference room, but I've never been there. Let me know your thoughts about the Lithuanian Art Deco post office in the comments below. Do you find it interesting or do you prefer to see different type of build? Personally, I feel like there is no representation of Northern, Eastern or Central Europe in The Sims 4 and I think that it's our duty to share knowledge or awareness about our countries through the game. For a long time, I even thought that nobody even wanted to see these sort of buildings because most of the builders tend to build buildings inspired by American or British style and after recreating Eastern European apartment block, I realized that there are many of us who would like to be represented.
thank you so much to all my dear patrons and everyone who's watching i hope you guys enjoy it like and subscribe it will help to boost the algorithms and more people could learn a little bit more about my beautiful country lithuania enjoy the rest of the video Thank you. 